Hi friends, welcome to Azure Video Tutorials. This session I am going to explain you about uh, Azure Azure ADF data flow features. That's one of the transformation called aggregations. How to use aggregations in Azure data flow and uh, how to create a file based on your data aggregation. So I'm going to use some transformation for aggregation. For that I'm going to create a new pipeline in pipeline we can use this data flow so let's start with example here i'm going to create a new file new pipeline for that we should have a source file right so i have a source file in my azure storage account the azure storage account i have created a container called a source here i have a two source files employee and department for these two source files I have created data sets here. This is a source employee and a department source. So I'm going to use data flow. Like I'm going to create a new data flow. Instead of using existing, we can create a new data flow. DF. So aggregations I'm going to use in data flow. So the naming convention also I have made like that. So first we need to add a source. So click on here and it will be added. You need to select a source, whichever your source data set. My source data set is EMP. Then name that stream name you can change here. Okay. Now you can click on this plus symbol where it will be uh, displayed all the available options where we can use uh, transformations or joins whatever it is available here filters okay let's I'm going to use aggregate this is called aggregate click on this now here you can use your aggregate that's so this is a group by column you have to select if you have multiple group by columns you can add a plus and add that i am going to create aggregate function based on department so i need to select department so i need a department wise sum of salary like so here we have a department number so that's group by column i am going to select this department number and go to aggregate so here you can select your expression what are the aggregation you are going to use and uh, column I am going to select a salary and expression so here functions are available so first we need to convert this because the source we are getting as a source this salary so we need to convert into integer that to integer salary I'm going to use a sum so if you want to know the functions here you can see here you can see this is the sum function okay and there are some other functions is available first last so I'm going to here use only aggregation function that's sum so directly you can click on this and you can add directly that column but if you use that column it will throw error here you can see some expects the number type of argument because it's source we are getting as ABC that's a string here you can see this is a data type is showing so we need to convert that so here you can search that to integer okay 
then this way I'm going to use a aggregation and the data type you can see one two it is showing then click on plus so here we are selecting only group by column and aggregation because what is a group by the columns we are going to list here we can list currently I'm going to list only group by as a department number and aggregation so click on place to add your target that is a sync click on sync and I'm going to create a target as a file target you can say EMP I'm going to select the data set which it will create a file in my source lo target location which is uh, Azure data lake so go to my data lake there's a target folder I have created already it should create one file there so meanwhile we can save this and go to settings and you can create a file instead of so what will happen if you if you use a default if you are using a sorting or if you are using a aggregation so it will create a multiple files for each record so what we can do we can create a single file if we have a less data so if you, if you have a huge data that time you can go for multiple files but uh, this is a sample for understanding aggregate emp dash csv okay i'm going to use a single file then you can validate if any errors it will display and you can publish this and uh, go to your data lake as a target folder currently it's empty if I run it should create this file okay so if you go to your pipeline and there is an option called you can trigger using this debug option so it it will be triggered and the session will be displayed or you can use trigger now two options is available I'm going to use a debug now because if you want to use debug you need to enable this data flow debug option so I have already enabled if you use this debug the sessions will be displayed here so remember this and if you have any parameters variables everything will be available here so as of now I have not created any parameter or variables later I will explain those uh, examples and if you use the trigger now the sessions will be available in monitor here you can see monitor this monitor tab if you click on this there you, you can see all the triggered sessions so currently it's running I use the debug option it's uh, running so in this pipeline you can see whichever is data flow is running you can see that running symbol so currently I have only one data flow in my pipeline so only one is available so when I am executing that only one will be executed and the session you can see here and actions if you want to see that JSON format it, it will display the input or the data sets it is available uh, we created so meanwhile you can verify it should create a file still it's running so session is done you can see succeeded now a file should be available now you can see the file is available and uh, the result here you can see based on department number the total salary is aggregated so 20th department number this is the total salary for 30th department this is the total salary same thing for 10th department and 80th department so like this we can go for using aggregations in data flow okay let's use another uh, like what I will do I will go to my aggregated transformation go to group by instead of department number if you want to use job you can use the job okay then publish this and there is an option here you can see data preview so you can see that expected output in data preview itself you can see or if you want to run this you can debug it away you can use this debug option the session will be triggered here see it is in progress it 
is publishing completed it's because we done some publishing right we have done changes and we published and here you can see that based on job analyst who are analyst working as analyst those, those employee salary is 6000 who are working as salesman those total salary but we are not included the commission here so with this total salary is excluding commission so if you want to add commission you can add that commission okay so again you can add here aggregator column and you can add that commission so here what you can do you can go for plus two integer so now file has been created you can refresh this see data file job and salary like this so if you want to use commission so there is a null is available right I am going to use if null function if you want to know the exact of syntax here if you search it will display here like this zero and I'm closing final basis like this need to close this and save this and we can see the data preview view so our, now we can see the salesman total to salesman salary is 5600 if you refresh this it should be updated so because we added commission now it should get updated salary plus commission for total salesman so job wise we are doing aggregation and uh, meanwhile you can debug this and you can rerun it again that file you can uh, download it because we are using a single file right? it will be overwritten job is started so meanwhile you can see that uh, here now you can see the salesman's total salary is increased now because we added commission so 7800 earlier it was so this is the old file which is aggregated 5600 so this is the way we can go for using aggregate transformation in azure data flow in azure data factory version 2 so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel thank you very much